right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Royce. Thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh will be joined by Andrew Filipponi in a matter of moments, and we'll be taking your calls tonight on the Borders and Borders Hotline at 412-575-2600. Pick game going on right now. The Panthers are looking good, Pony. Uh, this is a team, and I don't want to jump the gun here because I, I never thought the, the Panthers would be in this position right now, uh, going basically from the bottom of the ACC to first place. Uh, I thought Jeff Capel would have been fired or on his way out. Uh, but, boy, he really turned his program around. Uh, he has guys that want it, and I think he has something here. Uh, the getting Going in the transfer portal, getting some older guys with experience that want to win. Um, and they don't give up. This team, uh, they find the right shot. They make high percentage shots. Uh, I think this team, like I said, I don't want to jump the gun, but I think they potentially have the makeup to make a run in the NCAA tournament. Well, we're only 90 minutes away from uh, National Singles Awareness Day. I want to <laughs> thank you guys for tipping me off to that so I can text all my thank my single friends. Well, neither one and, of us have uh, to wish worry them about a happy that holiday anymore, I guess. No, but we're here on Valentine's Day, Richie. So I what know. does that say about you and me? I know. How did Amanda let work? you out? I thought you'd be at the game with Pomp sitting courtside. The pit game. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pomp's he's courtside. courtside tonight? Yeah, he's courtside. Usually usually he's on he's here on Tuesdays, right? He's courtside. Well, I understand that. I and I knew he was at the game, but Whose seats are they sitting in? What's the backstory? Did he pay for them or did he get them for free? What do you do think? We know? <laughs> what do you think? Pomp is the man about town. He gets yeah, invited. Yeah, but you're the pit alum. Why aren't you over there with your wife watching well, the game courtside on your night here's off? Here's the thing. I was offered um, to cut the same seats to go to another game at some point. Um, but Pomp, Pomp wanted to take Lisa. Him and Lisa are sitting courtside. He wanted a nice Valentine's Day. So wait a minute, Day. you're going to get those to dinner. You're going to get those seats later in the season. I have the opportunity to if I can find a day off. But the problem with me is I'm headed to spring training and then potentially the NCAA tournament. Well, they they, they would be too late then. But I'm going to spring training. Well, why don't we I'm use gonna... those courtside seats for the Syracuse pit game that's coming up in a few days, Rich? Oh, that would be why big. Don't you me, and me occupy me and those you. seats. That would be huge. That's what I'm saying. You think that person would be offended if the two of us no, I don't went think together? I can why send not? Them a text. What day? I, I forget what day is that. It's a Saturday afternoon. Saturday. You the, and me right there, front the, and center. The, the 25th. I think I might be able to make that happen, Pony. Let me see. Let me work on it. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to work on it. Um, so Because you're like yeah, one I mean, of the I'm, most distinguished uh, alums. You have to be at that game. Although, I don't know who I'm going to root for in that game right now. It might be Pitt based on what's happened to the Syracuse basketball program. And how livid I am with the state of affairs over there. Nice with win, though, tonight. Yeah. Well, you know what that proves? It proves to me that some of these teams that are ahead of Pitt in the AP Top 25 are undeserving, including NC State. Yeah. Pitt went to NC State and won. Pitt's got a better ACC record than NC State. Their strength of schedule, very similar. So I don't understand that. I think Pitt's getting disrespected as far as some of these teams that are ranked ahead of them in the ACC. They've beaten Miami. They've beaten Virginia. They've beaten North Carolina twice. They've taken on all comers and won in this ACC. Maybe the ACC is down, although last year people were saying that, and they put three teams in the Elite Eight and two teams into the Final Four. Um, saying the same thing about the ACC right now, but uh, Pitt, if they don't make the NCAA tournament or if they're seeded down near the bottom, like a nine seed or ten seed, that's a mistake by the committee because – I look at the teams that are seated ahead of them right now, and I'm convinced that Pitt is better than a number of them. Yeah, I, don't, I, I definitely agree with you. Why do you think they're not getting the love? I know their RPI isn't, isn't too high. Yep. Um, well, I know that has a lot to do with it, but what do you think it is? Well, they didn't play a tough non-conference. Michigan looked like it was going to be a team that was ranked when they played them that was going to count as a good opponent, but they've had a troubling year. They've had a super down year. West Virginia is a bubble team. Northwestern is probably a tournament team now that they beat Purdue. Vanderbilt is not even on the bubble. 
Uh, some of these teams they played, the small conference teams, none of them really look like their NCAA tournament material. So I think you add that on top of the ACC having probably at best maybe six or seven quality teams and then everybody else. And, you know, it just it makes it hard. Um, you know, I'd say right now they're probably one of the 25 best teams in America, even though the ranking in their resume might not say it, but based on how they're playing right now, where they are at the moment, I don't think you can find 20 teams that are better than Pitt. You know, I think one of the reasons that they are better, that they're playing better, and maybe that they're winning is, um, you know, I hate to say it this way, is Hughley not being there. Um, you know, because yep. he's going he's gonna to want the ball. But now they're pretty unselfish, yep. and they're, they're passing the ball around and mixing it up. And any guy, look at Hinson tonight. I mean, he's dropping everything. They're up by 24 right now. Yeah. Um, so I, I agree with you being, on that. I, yeah, so I agree with you on that, So why can't they recalculate I, things? You know, this is a different team than it was at the beginning of the season. 